Hi there, I'm going to run through our VLOG3 RTK Pro. I'm going to run through how we start a new survey, pick our feature codes that we want to label things at, and then run through how we actually take and store those points, and we can even change them so that we take different feature codes. Then I'm going to come back inside and show you in our cloud what those look like and how we can export them out in the various different file types. So stick through this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to get started doing this gas locate. And we're going to start out, turn the receiver on, says do we want to start a new survey? We're going to say yes. We're going to hit enter for gas. New survey started. Okay, so I'm going to pick my frequency first of all. Push and hold the F button. Now I can scroll through to 8K, which is on. Lots of signal here. Now I can see in the top corner I've got my cellular, my GPS is coming into play, it was red, now it's yellow. I'm just going to wait a second, I can push the I button and see what my accuracy is, it's green now so it's going to be in my two centimeters, which is great. So now what I'm going to do is I want to auto log. So I'm going to go through my settings to auto log, hit enabled. Go up to log feature for what I'm going to name this. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to be gas service. Now I can push and hold the F button and under my gas service there's an enter button here. So I push enter and now I'm going to select what type it is. This happens to be plastic so I'm going to hit enter. So now every log, I'm going to push I to get back out because I'm not ready to log yet. But every log that I take now is going to be to have those gas service and it's going to be in plastic. So I'm going to line up my signal, high signal, which is right here. Nice blue bar, I, plus the log, tilt it back for that spirit level, and away we go. Come right up to the edge, I, plus, tilt it back, and log. Go to the center of the street here, I, plus, Nice green bar, receiver down, I plus, and log again. Now I know from previous that I'm coming up to the main here. See my compass is turning just a little bit. I plus, log that point. Now I'm going to find my T. So my signal drops off here, I find my main, which is right here, back up, signal drops off, come back up on the other side, and gain up just a little bit. Here's my main on this side, move forward. Signal drops off my compass, so there's my T right there. And on the other side, I pick up the main. So there's my main over there. Signal drops off, come back up. So here's my T right here. So what I'm going to do is do I plus log that last point. Now I have a choice. I can now change these to say gas main. Or, what I can do is, I can start a new survey and have that as, as the gas main. So let's do that now. I'm going to push and hold the I button. I'm going to go up to my new survey, hit enter. Yes, I want to start a new survey. Gas. New survey started. Now what I want to do is go back into my main menu, push and hold the F button, change to gas main. And I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's plastic. So we'll call it plastic. Now we're ready to log the gas main. So I'm going to take the first point. Find my highest signal. This is right here. Plus. And log that point. Now you see on screen it shows me right here what my distance is for my last reading, so 5.25 meters. So if you had a set distance that you want to take readings in, 
uh, you can go ahead and do that. All right, and there we've got our survey done. All right, so now that we've gone and taken our points, let's go ahead and show you how we can work with those afterwards. So we're gonna go and log into our VM map cloud. You'll wanna create an account if you haven't already, uh, but assuming that you have an RTK, you would have already been walked through on how to create an account, set that up. So we're gonna go into our surveys here, and what you can see is a whole list of surveys that I've just recently done. So we're going to go ahead and pick the second one. So there's one of the surveys I just did. Go back and look at my other one. There's another pair. So I know from looking at this that this survey here is the gas service. This one here is the gas main. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename these quickly. Gas service. and gas main. Now what I want to do is create a folder with both of those in it for this job. So I'm going to click both boxes, hit merge, and I'm going to call this Cortland Avenue YouTube. All right, so now what we've done is we've gone and created a folder right here with Cortland Avenue YouTube. I click the little plus, gives me my two locates I just did. Open it up and there you go, you can see. So if I click on this F, feature info, gas service, pipe type is plastic and goes across the street. And right here is, I'll click on this feature info and this is gonna be gas main, pipe type plastic. So I can click over to my satellite view Look at that in my satellite view. In this image, this is as far as I can zoom in. Some images through Google, you can zoom in a little bit closer. But again, this is just Google that we've got here for this image. Now, let's say we want to export it out, which is what we all want to do. So let's send this out to our mapping software or somewhere else. So here's our file format, CSV, KML, Shape, and DXF. We want to click the box to say include feature codes. For this situation, I'm just going to do CSV. My options down here, I'm going to keep this pretty basic. I'm just going to do it in WGS84. And uh, the height I'm going to have as my locator foot so that it shows my elevation as the base or ground level. I'm going to click Export. And here is my CSV file. So here's all my pertinent information, my lat and long, my distance between points. And if we scroll right over to the end here, we're going to see our feature descriptions, which is gas service, the pipe type, which is plastic. There's my codes, GS. There's my accuracy. So my accuracy on all those was great. 2.8 centimeters roughly or 28 millimeters. Um, so that's, that's really great accuracy. And there's the data. So you can go ahead and import this into any of your major mapping softwares. Uh, export it as a DXF file, uh, which is for your AutoCAD, however you may want to, to do that. So let's say I want to use this for a locate sketch. Go into my reports, and you can see my image down here. Again, I can check it by switching to satellite view. Looks all great. So what I can do then is I can click this print button, and I can actually print this out and then import this into my sketch tool as an image and snap on top of here my offset lines. Now, if I had gone through in my feature codes and put an offset point here, I could have used that as my reference. But in this situation, we're gonna use something like the curb or a building. We've got a light pull over here that we can wheel off. So any of those things we can go ahead and do, save it as a PDF and put it into my locate sketch. Thanks for tagging along in this video for the VLOG3 RTK Pro. For a more in-depth look at feature codes, how you create them, store them in the receiver, and use such things like offset points, please feel free to reach out to your local distributor and they would be more than happy to schedule a demo for you. In the meantime, please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you stay up to date on all recent videos that we've got coming out. 
Take care.